Hey, 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 and welcome back to the channel, everybody. How you all doing? Well, let's crack on with this Aussie 302 closed chamber factory iron cylinder head that we're porting, and I'm moving to an exhaust port, uh, which is what I said in the last video. We'll get straight into this. So what I'm going to do, guys, uh, I'll show you what I'm using. I'm using my electric die grinder, and I'm using this ball um, carbide burr to start with. I'm going to use it to basically smooth the front section of the boss here, the valve guide boss in the exhaust port. Now, the valve guide boss on this side, as you can see, is a lot narrower than this side. It's almost probably about where we want it, but I will thin it a little bit because that is what we're going to do. There's some really nasty castings um, in the back of the port here, in the bowl, in the back of the ball, which I will get to as well. And I'll be using a combination of the carbide burr, both this one and a tapered uh, burr, and also the rotary tool, flex shaft um, set up with some stones to smooth this at the finish. So uh, I'm gonna do the front part here. Now what I do guys is I make sure that my cylinder head is in a position so then I can get my hands resting on a bench, holding the front of the um, die grinder and then I put my hand on the very back of the die grinder so then I've got really good control because the ball, obviously when you hit a certain angle it's like um, hitting the uh, Mike Tyson zone if you like on a chainsaw to avoid kickback, it's the same sort of thing we'll get to a point where we'll hit something here and it'll want to do this okay, so you just got to watch that, just got to be careful of that you can snap these burrs if you jam them especially in these electric die grinders that's a 33,000 RPM die grinder it's quite easy to snap these so let's fire this up and let's get this happening. I'll just say before I start though, I mean, this is a bit unusual for me, guys. I would normally uh, sequence my porting. So normally I would do, because I've started with the combustion chambers. So then I'm um, fresh with each combustion chamber and building muscle memory with uh, my porting. I would, I would do all of the combustion chambers at the same time. So then I'm basically getting them as close as I can, each one rather than chopping and changing like this. But for the purposes of the video, because I've already done a combustion chamber um, and we need to move on to something else, we're doing an exhaust port. But that's just by the by, and that's what I would recommend anyone doing. I would do one element of each part of the port, I'd do all of that first. So then you're getting it, uh, so then you're replicating it the best you can uh, for each part of the porting, because we don't want to have different sizes in our chambers. We don't want to have different sizes in our ports or our bowls. We're gonna try and keep them as evenly as we can so then we've got even air fuel ratios as much as we can um, for each cylinder um, in each element of the cylinder head. All right, let's get this happening. You saw there where uh, I actually jammed the burr accidentally there between um, the port wall and the boss and it grabbed and as a result I've sort of nicked that uh, valve, that brass valve guide there. I'm going to have to be a bit careful with that, that's a bit annoying. Um, when I come to this side, because the uh, direction of the chips is changing, I'm copying a face full of metal here. So I'm going to have to put on my trusty uh, face shield here because I don't want to get metal in my eye. I've already had quite a nasty uh, splinter in my eye a few years ago when I was grinding on metal that I had to have removed and I had to have my eyeball actually ground because um, I'd got a rust ring in, the, in my eyeball because I didn't do anything about the piece of metal in my eye because I'd had metal in my eye so many times over the years I thought like all the other pieces of metal it would just uh, dissipate but it didn't because it was a cracking uh, splinter that had wedged in my eyeball and because um, I left it for three days um, 
thinking it'll go away, it started rusting in my eyeball. So I do highly recommend, guys, and that was wearing safety glasses at the time, and I copped it through the side of my safety glasses. So I uh, use a full face shield these days when I'm, when I'm doing my metal work because I don't want that to happen again. It's not nice having your eyeball ground with a little mini grinder at the eye specialist to get that rust ring out. So that's a word of caution, peeps. All right, let's keep going with this. I'm gonna try and do a little bit more here. I've gotta be careful though, because I'm starting to jam into the side of the port wall here with this particular um, with this particular ball. So I might not go any further on the sides here. I'm just gonna do a little bit more here, just a tiny bit more. Uh, around this bit here, and then I'm going to change uh, the burr to a tapered burr. Okay, give me a second, I'll change this over. Same deal uh, with this one, guys. I'm gonna try and be as real, real smooth as I can and keeping the actual carbide cutter, that burr, moving the whole time. We don't wanna stop in one spot or you'll chew it out so quickly and you'll end up having like uh, a big deviation in what you're trying to do. So we wanna avoid that if we can. You'll see this gives me just a little bit more room uh, swapping to this carbide to get into this back section here and I'm not gonna be taking much more off this and then I'm going to go to my stone and you'd be surprised even with that little rotary tool with the flex shaft how quickly that will also remove material and it's just easier to work in these tight spots with that less grabbing and uh, um, risking snapping off your carbide cutter so here we go a lot of vibration in that there. Even those medium sized shanks, man, they're borderline. They are borderline in these uh, high uh, RPM die grinders. Um, it's a bit annoying, actually, to be honest. What I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna change over to my pneumatic, uh, my pneumatic die grinder here. I've got a stone on this already, and I'm gonna smooth this out now with the stone. <laughs> neighbors really love that as well. All right, I'm going to go to my uh, rotary tool now, and we're going to sort of smooth off the back of these, this boss now.
getting a nice shape there now on that side. And I'm really just thinking about the way the air is going to come down in here and hit this and flow over this and out. And that's what I'm trying to shape to. How the air is going to want to flow out here. Okay, got to get to this side. By the way guys, this is a new uh, rotary tool that I picked up today, uh, obviously in the last video, my other one carked it, so uh, I went and picked up uh, the one that I was talking about, the one that is a uh, $49 kit is what it cost, and actually it's uh, another 5 watts more powerful, this one that I picked up today, than the old one that I had, it was at 130 watt, this is 135 watt. Uh, and you know with the new flex shaft it's a lot quieter and obviously you know my chuck is brand new on this so um, that is pretty much it I'm not going to do any more as far as how I shape that actual valve guide boss that's pretty good it's actually thinner than the first one that I've done so what that means is I'm going to probably have to go back to the other one I'll just give you a quick look at the uh, first one I did see there versus what we just did there, that one is definitely a little bit thinner. And this one, this one's still a little bit chunky. So I'm gonna to have to basically amend this one now to uh, be a little bit more like the other one. I have to take a little bit more off this. The back of this uh, port has been done, obviously, whereas I've only just started on this. And this has got the uh, crossover. Oops, sorry. This has got the crossover in this exhaust port. You can see the hole in the back there. Um, so yeah. Uh, I need to work more on uh, smoothing all this now. We've got to take this ridge out at the uh, bottom of the valve seat. See that uh, prominent ridge? Prominent ridge around the bottom of the valve seat there. Uh, it's not as much in this very last exhaust port. There's a little bit of a ridge. Try and get this to sit there for some light. I'm talking about um, around the bottom here of the valve seat. It's not too bad there, but have a look at this this one that I was just working on. It's quite a prominent ridge on the bottom here uh, of the valve seat that I've got to take off. I've got the black finger! Alright, so uh i to thin this one out now before I do any more. So that's the boss done. Let's have a look from um, inside the exhaust port. We'll A, B these two. Okay, that's the one we've just done. All right, it's not too bad. It's pretty good. 
this is the one that uh, yeah, see, so this one's looking uh, a fair bit chunkier uh, than the other one. So this is going to have to be thinned a little more. The one we just did. Let me get the light in this one so it's a bit fairer. And uh, yeah, I'll just thin that one ever so slightly to be more like this one I've just done because I'm happy with this one. But obviously, you know, guys, uh, how long do you spend on these, really? That's what it comes down to. But you have to try and be consistent uh, with your porting, um, as I mentioned earlier. So uh, I'm going to come back now and thin that a little bit. So guys, because we need to chew off small parts at a time, that is actually going to be it. Then for today, we'll just do that boss, and that's it for now. Um, that'll give me a chance to get back and now make that first exhaust boss uh, the same as this one I've just done, because I'm happy with the second one. So I'm going to basically mirror image this this one we've just done with the first exhaust port valve guide boss that I've done. So uh, we'll be doing smaller, um, hopefully a little bit shorter videos, more detailed on every part. So on the next video, I'll, I'll attack the port and we'll uh, blend the bowl. Uh, I'll take the ridge out uh, at the bottom of the valve seat. And of course, Murphy's Law has prevailed and the, of course the phone rang in the middle of trying to shoot the video. But that's coin, that's coin for the doctor, so I'm very happy to take that phone call. Okay guys, until I see you in the next uh, video where we will attack the rest of the exhaust uh, port here, you guys stay safe, stay healthy, take it easy out there.